hi welcome in this journey we will be using the InShots app so this is an introductory to InShots app whereby i'm teaching you everything you need to know about InShot, the tools and every other aspect before we go deep into other creative things you can be doing with your InShots app so the first thing is you go to your play store and you download the InShots app from your play store once you have the InShot app on your play store this is how it's going to be looking like so you click on it and once you click on it it will open up like this all right so wait for it to open up then this is the front page of the InShot. you can also use the InShot for picture yes you can use the InShot for pictures but for this tutorial we are making use of it for video tutorials so now you click on the video icon now you have the new button so anytime you finish editing it will be saved as draft so we have other drafts here but for the sake of this i'm going to make use of the new icon so that you can see how to start from the beginning so i click on new so once you click on new it will ask you to select your video so i'm going to look for a particular video i want to use for this training because i want you to know everything about in short so i'm picking a video where i can use to explain all the basic features and tools on in short all right so this is it now you click on that tick button which is the green icon there now it's going to load and come into the editing space now this is the timeline of the in short app this is the timeline where you can see your video that's what we call the timeline now for you that are using the InShot for the first time you'll be seeing that the logo of the InShot app will be showing on your videos and i've taught you how to remove the InShot logo if you haven't seen that video kindly go watch it on my channel and learn how to remove your InShot logo for free but for the sake of this tutorial i will also be doing it again so you tap on the InShots logo and that X sign that you saw there, it will bring out this option for you that you should remove it for free or you pay. So since we want to use it for free, we have to watch ads. But because I've off my data, if I watch the ads, the ads will not show. So that's how to remove for free. But if you know you want to watch the ad, then you can on your data and click on remove for free and you'll be watching the ads. So like this, I'll just give it some time to load and remove the um in short logo because as a professional editor the logos of those this app should not be showing in your video instead your own name your own icons um brand logos should be the one showing do you understand so now this is the particular video i picked this video has a concept to it because i was using it for a training so I will be bringing out the concept out why I also teach you how to understand everything on InShot app. So the first two we'll be talking about on InShot app is the canvas. Now the canvas here is to help you select the ratio of your video and you can also zoom how you want the clip to be before you now continue editing. Anything you want to do in terms of making the video um, size and um, big this is where you can do every one of that okay so now i'm going to be leaving it because i want it at 9 by 16 because i recorded the video in this format but if you check the video you see that it's having like the background space is still much so now what i'll be doing is i'll close this size and now i've closed that side and i'm going to the next two which is the music but before we go to the music you can see this plus button here it is for you to select maybe a blank background or you want to pick another video or picture into the editing space that is what this is used for okay so once you are done with that there's no need to pick a video and so i'm not picking a video but if you want to pick a video that's where you'll be picking extra video into the editing space now the next tool is our music now under the music here the interface of InShots is user friendly and beginner friendly hence why i like using it for some things 
and you get to know in the course of the training why InShot app is very good for beginners okay now i have my music i can either click on this music here to select a particular music from the InShot app which is the one you have for you or i go to my own uh, device which is for me to extract from my own device that's my music or i go to effects to select the effect i want maybe i want to use a particular sound like countdown i want drum sound i want bottle cock any kind of sound i want here is where i'm going to be selecting it from under the effect um icon so now let's say i want um the typewriter sound no i don't want transition let me look for socials you can see yeah we can even choose our keyboard sound but my network is off that's why i can't load that let me turn it on all right so i've turned it on i'll wait for it and come back to show you how to make use of the effect but all you have to do is just click on the effect and you select the effect you want once you see the one you want you choose it and it will ask you to download and once you download it it will show into your editing space now that's that for effect now the last one is record record is where we normally do our voice over trainings or talkings when you see somebody playing a video and the person voice is talking it's under the voice over yeah that's the record button they did that okay we call it voice over voice over something so it's under this record button you click to watch it so all you have to do is click on this button this big button and you start recording whatever you want to see and yeah it is recording so because i'm under a training i won't want to record anything so it doesn't cut what i'm talking about do you understand so that's that for recording then the next two we have here is stickers. Now under the sticker, we also have the text, we have the captions, and we have the details, and we have the dot do. Now for the sticker, let's explain the sticker first. You can either bring in a sticker from your phone by clicking on this plus button and bring in a sticker if you have on your phone. Or let's say I want to bring my brand logo, I can bring it that way. Can you see that's how to add sticker? So I'll use my hand to shrink it, reduce it, and place it at the side. Do you understand? Like place it at the side. So that's it. Or maybe you want to even remove the background of that sticker you brought in. That's where that tool is. You just click on it and you choose the sticker you want. And it will ask you how do you want to clean it to select how you want it to be cleaned and you click OK and it will clean it and um, bring it into the editing app. We also have the AI cleaning but that's for your own use. Just go and practice more on that depending on if you want to use it. So I'm going to go back so I can teach you the other aspect of the app. I have to just wait because I've given it command to load already. One, you can first of all select this by tapping on the sticker. You can select all these emojis and everything you want to use. But if you don't want that, then you can come to the picture icon here and select a picture. So these are some of the stickers I've already imported. It will save to the InShot library. So if you don't want them, you can come to manage and you delete them. But if you want them, you leave them there. So you click on this plus button to go to your gallery and choose any sticker or picture you want to use as a sticker. That's it for that. Then now let's go to the GFs. Let's say you have your data on. You can also search and look for any sticker you want and it will show you from here. Yeah, you can see happy birthday stickers and all that kind of stickers are there. So you can all just scroll and select the one you want or you search in the search bar so that's that for this i'm going back i'll leave the space and go to the next two then under this 
place we have the area for text we have the area for caption and we have the area for detail now if you want to add text to your video you can click here or you you will see another icon that is for the text but sometimes it's usually in together with the sticker so yeah i will just type um a work day in my life because this video is about working so let me write a work day in my life so you can say it's, it's lengthy i can click on it again and click on edit to break the text so every word i type will be showing so i'll put my icon in between where i want the text to be break So you break it you break it so like this I've added too much space but you get what I mean you break it into two now with this I can add my colors and change my style if I click on the edit icon again I'll be able to change the style and format of everything So you go to our color icon so these are colors that you can use for your text just go through every one of them and select the one you like and if you don't want to use any of the ones here you can manually select the one you have using your border your shadow your glow label and reducing the opacity and increasing it depending on how you want it and you can also come down here to select the font of your style you want can you see so you can also choose the format maybe you want the text to be big you want it to be bold you want it to be in the middle anyhow you want it you can come down here to click on which area you want okay just to design your text to make your text more beautiful for your viewers now that's that about this now let's go to they will be going deeper into all this area as we run through the training but i just want to show you the basic of all now this detail this detail we use the detail maybe when you want to blow something and you don't want it to be moving around now let's say i blow this particular clip i'll click ok now let me move it to a part where you can actually see the function let me move it okay so now let's put it at this area where this um tripod stand is showing and let's say i now want to blow the tripod stand so i will, I will increase it can you see that like this you cannot see the tripod stand so i can as well make the tripod the um blow to be very very sharp i'll click on edit and increase the blow can you see that's been increased or i make it faint so whichever one you want that's how to make use of this detail you can choose any of the style of the uh, detail you want for your blurring of your object and you can use any of these cues or tools here to make it stay so now if i want it to not move like i don't want the blur to not move away or to not leave that particular thing i'll click on tracking so once i click on tracking it will start tracking so it's going to play you can hear it please do not lo lock the screen or switch to another app so it will process and be tracking the object when it's done so there are more things i'll be teaching but let me cancel this so we can continue all right so that's that about this let's go to the next one which is the text So as I told you earlier, both the text and the sticker have the same aspect. Now you can also caption your video, but if you are using the free version, you cannot caption your videos. Like it won't caption everything if it is more than 30 minutes. Do you understand? 
that in the paid version you'll be able to caption your video but there are other apps that you can use to caption your video so once you edit on in short finish you can take you to that app and caption your video properly do you understand but this is where you have to use to caption your videos next is the effect so when you come down to the effect icon you can choose any kind of effect you want to make use of so let's click this effect so you can select any of the effects maybe the zoom the jump any of these effects can be used in your videos do you understand so can you see this video because of this effect let's play it from beginning this is how the video is but because of the effect can you see how it jump zoom and move back again so that's how to use this effect so now the next two here we have the filter and adjust this is used to color grade your videos do you understand like it's used to enhance the quality of your videos depending on how you want to do it but i love to make use of the adjust better because i just make it easier for me to color grade my videos properly do you understand it makes it easier for me to color grade my videos properly whereby i have the authority to set it how i want it to be by using the lightness by using the warmth and increasing it by using the tint and increasing it by using the saturation and increasing it by using the highlight and increasing depending on the position of my video that's what would determine if i'm to increase or decrease do you understand so it's adjust that give me that way to be able to do it now look at the before and look at the after after i adjusted it before and after so that's the function of the adjust icon okay now let's go to the next two which is the pip so the pip here on issue in short is called the picture in picture do you understand so it is here for us to be able to for us to be able to add overlay like let's say the way i'm talking i want this video to also be showing it's here i'm going to all right so when you select from your gallery the particular video or picture you want to bring in you tap on it and it comes down on the timeline of the pip like this and from there you'll be able to arrange place cut trim whatever you want to cut depending on the video you are trying to create do you understand so that's how to bring in an overlay into your editing okay so we are at the split key you click on the split to cut anything you don't want and you click on the next one to cut the other part then you tap on the middle and you delete whatever you want to delete so to delete anything you don't want use of the split key is good so you cut the beginning you cut the end and you delete whatever you want to delete okay and the next two we have here is the volume it's used to increase the volume of your videos and you can also denoise the video volume if it has maybe background noise and there are so much you can denoise it from there and you can click the double click to make it affect every other clips or just that particular clip by clicking on the single tick okay so that's it for this then the next thing we have is the background like this video now you can see the background is black we can decide to select another type of background for using another color or we can use our image by clicking this image icon to bring in a particular image as the background so can you see whichever one you want and you can also make the image blur depending on the blur type you want so that's it for this then then you can also make it affect every video which is by clicking on the double tick or just the single tick whichever one you want okay then the next one we have is the speed when you come down to the speed you have all the speed for your use which is this to the hand okay so depending on whatever you want that particular clip to have that's when you click on that 
all right then the next thing we have is the animation now for the animation you can choose different animation for your video we have the in animation out animation combo animation or the loop animation these are all different type of animation you can choose from depending on the concept you want to bring out can you see so you can make it slow you can make it fast depending on how you want it to be like can you see so that's it all right now you come to the crop the crop icon is for you to also resize your video if you don't want to use the canvas well the crop is for the video itself while the canvas is for the editing space itself so whichever one you choose just make sure you are making the right decision for the video edit we are about to bring out okay now the next tool we have here is the switch i love the switch icon is a new feature but i like what i'm saying because you can as well switch this particular video to become a pip all right guys so now if you want to remove the background of this you can go to cut out you can also use chroma key Remember, you just choose where you don't want you can see but it's best to use chroma key when you want to remove a plain color not something like this so you choose the strength you choose the shadow but since um it's not a plain color i'm going to go back and use cut out so you have to wait 200 percent for it to remove the background of that particular item cut out to so cut out is done let me see so you end up removing everything because it's not a plain background so let's go back and undo our cutters so we have the max tool now this function this tool helps us to create a balance between two items now let's go to max so max <clears throat> these are the tools you use when you make use of your max this is rectangle it's when in the course of the training you get to see more um usage of each of this item okay so we have the opacity if you want your videos to be bright or dark you use the opacity that is to be faint depending on what you want to use the opacity okay then we have the replace let's say i want to replace a particular clip since i click on it i'll be able to replace that clip with something else so it's giving me information about it and finally we have replaced the previous video to this particular one there you see now voice effect maybe i don't want to sound like adult i want to sound like a character this is different voice effects you can sound like okay so you choose from any one of them and you'll be sounding that way then the next one we have is duplicate. Let's say I want to duplicate this. I'll just double click and my video will increase because I'll be seeing it on the timeline. You can see that's duplicated into three places. Now rotate. Let's say you want to rotate something. Let's pick. Let me pick this particular video. You can see that the table here the phone stand here the video the phone stand is landscape so i can as well come to my rotate and switch it so it will switch and fold the screen can you see so that's one thing about rotate you can also flip and say so we have rotate and flip flip is maybe you want it this way or in the right
right or left way anyhow you want to but that's the function of rotate and sweep and flip then the next thing we have is freeze you can use it to freeze a particular character so it will not move maybe in this area you adjust or you did something but once you freeze, freeze it it's not going to move let me say I freeze this particular area you can say uh, before it i was using my hand to press something but once i freeze it my hand will not move it will permanent on the face do you understand so that's what the freeze function is then we have the reverse reverse is like maybe you've gotten let me use a sample like you want to show something on the screen and the when you are recording it's facing the camera but to read the viewers it will not be facing us to be showing in another way you can use the reverse to correct that or probably you finish dressing up and you want people to see the process from the back how you dressed up you can as well use reverse then after reverse the last two we have is ease yeah, so they say it's only available between two key frames and this is key frame when you want something to move but it's still object to move so that's key frame for you now let me use this particular side So now, if I play it, Hi, Kasa, what are you doing? You can see it's keyframe that is making me to move that doing? way. So I can click on ease. So this is in between, so I can click on ease depending on how I want the keyframe to move. So let me say I move, I choose this. Hi, Kasa, what are you doing? Now you see that's an example. Let's say I choose this. Hi, Kasa, what are you doing? Can you see? So that's an example of his. The two. The, Hi, Kasa, what are you be doing? Between whenever you make use of the keyframe. Okay. All right, so this is uh, the tools of InShot. I hope this video is self-explanatory. I'll see you at the other side. Thank you. So to save, you just come to save, and you choose the format you want. You can see you can also reduce it. We have the 1080, 40, 720, and 480. We have the 30 frame rate. We have the 25 frame rate also. But the format is always MP4 because it's a video. Do you understand all right so that's it for using InShot. now let's go into the editing process proper